He's Nicholas back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. With Ubuntu Mate. Or mate. But apparently we have to call it Mate. I'm just getting old. Okay. First of all, this is 2210, by the way. Now remember, the ones that are on the tens, so the October ones, are like development ones, really, to be honest with you. Now, Martin, who actually develops this, has been doing this for a really long time, and he's made it really, really polished. And I do like it. But I've never used it on a hardware. And this is no exception. This is in the box too. But it runs pretty cool. Now, I'll tell you what you get when you first boot up after installation. Because we have installed it in the box. You get the welcome screen. And this one is one of the better ones, okay? So we get introduction features getting started. If you've never used it before, go and use it. Give it a go, okay? But I just want to go a few things. Because I'm going to keep it on the system like some of the others too some things that need going over again because as I said before I'm not going to make the videos too long because we all get bored yeah I don't want to sit there for a 30 minute video I'll just go uh, later bye next so the th things I'm going to concentrate on are software and the desktop layout so if I click on the desktop layout like so you get several ones Look, you get familiar which is what we're on there mutiny which has got the Unity desk bar on the left-hand side, obviously could have on the right. Redmond, which I imagine is a bit more like Windows, Cupertino, Apple. If I click on Show More, we can go down. We also get Traditional. I like Traditional. Traditional's good for me, okay. And Contemporary. And Pantheon. So you get a lot of options out of the box. So it's really configurable to how you want your system. Now remember, Mate or Mate... We don't want to start an argument over this one. No fights today, please. It's basically the old version of Gnome 2, yeah? And it's just been reworked with all the new packages, so it's current for today. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Marte Tweak a little bit later. Okay, so we're just going to come out of that. Oh, no, we're going to go back. We're going to go back, okay? And we'll go to Software. Now, this is the Software Boutique. So it's a, a posh shop. I'm going to call it a posh shop. I'm going to make it full screen, but we're going to concentrate on the internet section because, like some of the other distributions around, you don't go and have to go to the site to download stuff. It'll all be here. Okay. So for internet, we have the Brave browser, Dropbox, Kaja, Chromium, FileZilla, Firefox is installed by default. I'm not actually sure if it's the Snap or whatever, but I'm not too worried. It works fine. Okay. The Firefox Extended Support Release. And we've also got Gadgem as a Jabber client. Gobby, Google Chrome, Google Earth, HexChat, InSync. That's not NSync, not the band, okay. InSync, you have to pay for after your little, uh, say, 20, 30 days of using it. So you might not use it. Lythera, so that's a newsreader. Microsoft Edge. Now, some of you may want that. You just might. I don't know. Mumble, I do use Mumble. So that's all here for you. Next cloud, Opera, Pigeon, Ramina, oh, Ramina, you like that. Skype as well. Slack, Sync thing. Ooh, that replaces proprietary sync and cloud services with second more. Oh, that's good. I like the lock of that. Sparkle Share, Spider Oak One, Offsite Backup. Oh, interesting. What else we've got? Chunderbird, Telegram. The Tor browser, I wouldn't use a Tor browser on an install system. I'd use it on a USB stick if I was going to use it anyway, which I don't very often. Transmission is installed by default. You get old school Vivaldi, X2Go, Wireshark, and Wire. Mm. So we're going to go back up here, okay? We're going to install Chrome from the boutique to see how easy it is to do, okay? Now, somebody's saying, don't use Chrome, it's blah, 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 blah. I'm here to start a fight, guys. I have to use it for what I do. It's as simple as that. So, I'm going to click on Install. Okay. Once you have finished choosing your application, I'll click here to confirm your selection. I like that. That's good, isn't it? So, we click there. Apply changes. That's good for me. Preparing to start. Do I have to put my password in? It's not telling me updating cache. I've already updated the system, by the way. It's all fully up to date. Oh, yeah, it does want my password. So I'll put this really, really good password in. 
that's one of the advantages of using the box. You can use really stupid passwords because it's not going to be on here for a while. Yeah, and we can see how long it takes to download, nice and quickly. Superbly easy. Mm. We'll move that up for you so you can see a bit more. Installing fine, it seems so far. I'll have a bit of apple juice while I'm waiting. Mm. Somerset Apple today. Mm. Weird that one, isn't it? And we're finished. Weren't that nice and simple and easy? Thanks, Martin. You're a geezer. I like you already. So we'll get rid of that. And next we want to go and find our display settings, don't we? So if you remember the old Gnome 2, this is what it used to look like. So we're going to change that look and feel, okay? So I think that should be under preferences, if I can remember correctly. So don't, 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 don't. Oh, maybe it's not in this one. Is it not there? No, no. Ah, there we are. Mate Tweak. So we click on Mate Tweak. So on the desktop, you can show your icons. Computer, home, trash, blah, 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 blah. That's all right. But what about the panel? Mm. So we're familiar at the moment. So if we go to, what do we want? We'll go to, you know, traditional. We're going to go OK. And there we go. And that just, it, that's great. I like it already. It's doing a twizzly twizzly thing, whatever that does. I don't know. Remember, we are in the box, so things could go wrong. But this is what the old school GNOME used to look like. A lot of other systems on Debian do also look like this now. So, you know. So, I like that very much. You know what? I'm going to change that again. Because that's just what I do. But and now I've got to find out where I've put it. Oh. Is it under? Calculator? No. And the system tools, I imagine. No. No. Oh. Well, I've lost that already, haven't I? What am I doing? No, 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 no. It's got to be here somewhere, isn't it? Come on. I've obviously got the wrong glasses on because I don't know where I've put it. But if I go to system, ah, that's better. Look and feel. Let's see what it is. Make twig. Whew. It's been so long since I've used the old school name. Really, really old school. So we go back to panel again. And I'll change that again and see what we get. So if I go to Pantheon, we'll just change that. Ah, that's nice as well, isn't it? That is nice. I like that. So you just got, I imagine this is Plank. So yeah, you can change all the settings in Plank to make it bigger or smaller if we want to. Obviously, if you want the Unity bar down the side here, you can change wherever it is. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. So yeah, I'm liking that already. So I'll go back to menu and we'll go back to internet. We'll just make sure Chrome works. Because it should do, shouldn't it? And as you can see, Chrome's gone right on the end. It doesn't work, work particularly well in the box, okay? I will tell you that. It's going to be so much better on new hardware. And when my new drives come along, there'll be more hardware installed, so that'd be easier. So yeah, Chrome works super duper. Out of the box, superb. We installed it. When you kick up Plank, you get Show Desktop, Firefox, of course, Kadja. Your control center, terminal, calculator, your time, and your trash bin. But we'll quickly go to the control panel before we finish, because we are going to come back to this. It's just the first look, okay? And the reason why we're doing 2210 is because, as I said before, they use this for the next lot on, just to try it out. They only last for nine months, okay? Only for nine months. So keep that in mind, okay? I wonder if I can find my printer from Virtual Box. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I probably haven't set up right, but so I'm going to add. Go to network printer. Oh, there it is. There's my printer. Look at that. Forward that. Oh, searching for drivers. It shouldn't need to search for drivers. It's a network printer. I'll be really honest with you. Oh, found it. We'll apply that. No, I don't want to print this page. So I can print from within virtual box, which is superb. If you go back about 10, 15 years, that would have been like space. That would have been like witchcraft. Yeah, real witchcraft. I know. So that's the real first look of Ubuntu Mate, strike like mate 2210. I know I'm a bit late to the party, but we're going to have a bit more of a look of it next week. 
So, hope you enjoyed that little one. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.